In this session, we are going to discuss about the types of potential energies, and mainly in that, we are going to see about the gravitational potential energy. So, before that, what is meant by the energy? The capacity to do work is called as energy, and what is meant by this potential energy? Potential energy is the energy possessed by a body by virtue of its position, shape, or configuration of the body. It depends upon the position of the body. Mainly, we can say like this. Uh, for example, a compressed spring possesses potential energy, and a block which is hung to a string possesses potential energy, and a overhead tank possesses potential energy. And now, coming to the types, we have three types here: gravitational potential energy, elastic potential energy, and electric potential energy. And that mainly. gravitational potential energy so let us have a look for this gravitational potential energy gravitational potential energy already we have discussed in previous video about this gravitational potential energy Uh, such that to bring a unit mass from infinite distance to the gravitational field so that is called as gravitational potential and now if you consider this gravitational potential energy gpe uh, between the two mass particles which are in the gravitational field uh, two mass particles which are in the gravitational field then for that the gravitational potential energy is given as u equal to gravitational potential energy is indicated with u u equal to minus capital g two mass particles no m1 m2 by and these two mass particles are separated by a distance r so you consider like this this is a mass particle m1 and this is a mass particle m2 these two mass particles are separated by a distance r so this is within the gravitational field so when these two mass particles are separated by a distance r so the gravitational potential energy is minus g m1 m2 by r and here minus in the sense uh, it represents that the force of gravitation is always attractive in nature so if you take the force between two charges uh, the similar charges Now the same charges will repel each other, and the opposite charges will attract each other. That means there will be a attraction between the charges, then there will be repulsion between the two charges. But coming to the gravitational potential energy, this force is always attractive in nature, so there will be a force of attraction always. Always the two masses will attract each other by virtue of their masses. So. Uh, this minus represents the force is attractive in nature and why it is always negative means see if you consider a mass and another mass uh, close to each other and two persons two persons are trying to uh, pull away this person is trying to pull the mass in that direction and this person is trying to pull this mass in this direction that means they are trying to separate the two masses so when the two masses are close to each other the force will be uh, more and that is negative here also that will be force will be negative here and that will be less negative when they are pulled apart for example consider the masses are a uh, moved to some distance at at this distance then also the force will be negative but here uh, the negative will be more more negative if the masses are separated to some infinite distance then this gpe will become zero when the uh, force between the two masses are at infinite distance then the gravitational potential energy will be zero if it is somewhat close then it will be more negative if it is very close the uh, 
the reason is the work done by us will be positive and the work done by these two bodies will be negative so when they are close the negative will be less and when they are separated for some distance the negative will be more if they are separated to an infinite distance the negative will be sorry the, the gravitational potential energy will become zero and here let us consider one situation or consider a body on a the surface of the earth so this is the earth and here is a body of mass m and this body of mass m is lifted to some height h by applying some force by applying some force it is lifted to a height h like this so what is the work done work done is force into displacement that is nothing but height f into h and from newton second law of motion we know that f is equal to ma and if you consider that work done again here work done w equal to instead of f place ma and it will be h ma h and here when the body reaches to certain height it has the potential to fall down uh, why it is falling down means with the help of gravity so the acceleration it will have some acceleration the acceleration is due to gravity so the work done will be equal to m g h so the gravitational potential energy of a body at certain height is w work done will be equal to m g h so here we can see that the work done by the gravity will be negative that equal to work done w equal to minus mgh and the work done against the gravity such that that means if you are lifting any body from the ground the work done the work is done against the gravity you are lifting a body against the gravity so that will be the work done will be positive that means w equal to mgh and if the work is done by the gravity that means if a body is falling like this due to gravity then the work done will be minus mgh so this is about the gravitational potential energy and in coming classes we will discuss about this elastic potential energy and electric potential energy thank you